It's 7.45 on a Tuesday morning, and DeVivo Coffee Shop is busy with their normal morning crowd. Archaeologists from universities around the globe file in for their morning shot of espresso on their way to the Pompeii archaeological dig site. A plan for the day is made as they haul in their gear and set up. We're working in an urban space in a city, the ancient city of Pompeii, uh, and there is a lot to see and record. We have institutions from uh, different countries and, and throughout the nation that are working together to try to make sense of the site. The teams are broken into different areas. Some are excavating, while others analyze the findings. Along with the experts, students are brought in for the experience. A lot of this stuff was bone question mark, and I have no idea what that thing in the back is. So. And it is one of my students who uh, who's taken a couple classes with me this last year. She very much expressed interest in archaeology. And this opportunity came up where we were having an open call to anybody who wanted to apply to work as an excavator at Pompeii for the 114 project. Um, and we had people from all over the world apply. So right now we're scraping away modern topsoil. We'll be able to get into the first layer of 7980 soil. That's when the eruption actually happened. I want them to learn the way that I did, and that's by doing. For an archaeology student, the experience of the field is critical. Because if you want a job after you, you graduate, you have to have a field school uh, or a field experience that's extensive. And so this is going to be great for Hannah. Sometimes there's opportunities that I can open up to undergraduate students who are still enrolled. But sometimes I look for my people who I've trained before because it's a very special job. So for instance, Courtney is here on this dig because She's already trained up. I know her skill set. She's currently working in archaeology. I was at the museum working, and he's like, yeah, I don't know what to talk. <laughs> and I was, you know, it scares anybody right at first. And I was like, yeah, why? And he's like, well, they're doing this project in Pompeii. And I was like, which Pompeii? And he's like, oh, the, the Pompeii. I was like, oh, OK. And he's like, well, do you want to come? I was like, like, go there? He's <laughs> like, so, yeah. So I want to really, as this develops, I want to document the life or the experience or his class was the right student because this is probably going to start falling in a little bit. My role in this project is the head of digital data initiatives. We have a special team tasked to deal with all of the data that comes from the project. Uh, we are also tasked to create those workflows that they will use to actually collect the data. But typically we'll do keeping our back to the wall and then taking um, photographs of the area starting with kind of the bottom area of it like a little bit of the floor in the bottom part of the wall up, 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 and just do that all the way around the room, shooting diagonally across the room as we go to make sure that there's enough overlap in the photos that the software can see it's the same spot and stitch it all together. When we have the virtual excavation put online, all of those moments captured in 3D with that photorealistic texture, plus all of the data that goes in the digital forms, we can search and revisit the excavation, uh, but then we can open up the data and look at it much closer and so that's kind of the power of the Geo database is being able to think of creative ways to actually search for something in space, analyze it with space in mind as well. It's hard to explain that in general terms because you can think of different analyses and tools that you can use, but that's, that's kind of the best way to, to think about it. The data team will return to the site next summer for their final season. Once all of the information is analyzed, it will be used to develop archeological interpretations of life in the margins of the ancient city of Pompeii.